Okay, well, if we want to move over from the, from the government bond market, like treasuries, to the corporate bond market, well, we cannot say that corporate bonds or corporate issuers are default-free, credit-risk-free bonds because there have been many corporate issuers over the years that have done what? They have actually defaulted on their bonds. They didn't pay the interest or principal in a timely fashion and they defaulted. So corporate bonds are subject to default risk. So therefore, investors need to be compensated for this additional risk that they're taking on. So when we are looking at corporate bonds where they are non-callable, non-puttable. Another word for non-callable, non-puttable is option-free bonds. So when, when the bond has no embedded options and it is issued by a corporation, we call these option-free bonds. And therefore, because they have no embedded call or put option, they are non-callable and non-puttable, we need to now take, to come up with the appropriate discount rate for the cash flows, we need to take the spot rates and then adjust each of those spot rates by a spread. A spread that will compensate for the additional credit risk as we're gonna talk about. So therefore, we would need to add some kind of spread. We call that magic spread that is added to each of the spot rates the static spread, the Z spread, or the ZVS, the zero volatility spread. So I wanna spend a couple of moments talking about this. The Z spread, also known as the static, uh, static spread or the zero volatility spread, this creates what's called the static yield. So one plus the spot rates, for the, we're looking at the discount rates, they're the denominator, one plus each of the different spot rates and then we add the same static spread, zero volatility spread or Z spread creates what is called the static yield. Okay, and we're assuming again here a zero volatility spread, Z spread, or static spread. This is applicable again to corporate bonds that have no embedded options in them. In other words, option-free bonds, non-puttable, non-callable. What's the idea here? What is a Z spread, a zero volatility spread, or a static spread? Now, again, I'm gonna to stick to the terminology that you have, which is the zero volatility spread. What is the zero volatility spread, also known as the Z spread or the static spread? The definition of a zero volatility spread is a spread in basis points that is added to the entire treasury spot rate curve. It's a spread that we add, it's, it's a, and it's the same spread in basis points that we're going to add to the entire treasury spot rate curve in order to discount the future cash flows of an option-free bond to its current market price. In other words, if you look at my Count formula there again. If the market price of the bond is $9.95, and we're now looking at an option-free corporate bond, and we know that the fixed cash flows are 80, 80, 80, and finally 1,080, and we have the spot rates from our in-house economist. The spot rate for the first cash flow is 6%, the, sec the second spot rate is 6.25, and so on and so forth. So we have the coupon cash flows in the numerator, we have the market price on the left-hand side of that equation, and then we have the spot rates. What we want to know is, since this is a option-free corporate bond, what is that spread, what is that magic spread, that same spread that we need to add to each of those spot rates in the denominator so that the right-hand side of the equation equals 995 on the left-hand side of the equation. That is called the zero volatility spread. So we have the definition. How do we actually calculate it? The methodology is called trial and error. You have the cash flows in the numerator. You have the market price of the bond. You have the spot rates, as I told you, from your in-house economist. Well, add 50 basis points to each of the spot rates. Add 50 basis points to the first spot rate, the second spot rate, the third spot rate. Does the right-hand side equal the left-hand side? No. Then adjust the, uh, the, the uh, zero volatility spread, that Z spread. Adjust it up or down until you get the right-hand side equaling the left-hand side. In other words, we're trying to come up with the no arbitrage value of the bond. We're trying to come up with the no arbitrage value of the bond. What is that spread that is necessary to do that? And we got to do that tr through trial and error. Now you would never have to calculate the Z spread or the zero volatility spread or the static spread on the exam. It's all done through trial and error. I mean you could use your calculators, you could do it by hand, but it would take way too long on the exam. They would have to give it to you. But that is what the Z spread or the zero volatility spread represents. Again, 
It's the spread in basis points that needs to be added to the entire treasury spot rate curve. What does that mean? It needs to be added to the entire treasury spot rate curve. It means that we need to add it to all of the spot rates, to the first spot rate, the second rate, spot rate, which represents the spot rate curve. So we're adding this spread to the entire treasury spot rate curve so that the cash flows on the right hand side, the present value of those cash flows equals the price of the bond.